again, welcome back, one from Moonwake today, and this is their IPA, have to look at that, Moonwake are in Leith in Edinburgh in Scotland, I've enjoyed the beer so far, I've got my Moonwake glass, let's get it into the glass. Perfect pour, as always, Rob. It has got a slight haze to it. Of course, with the pattern on the glass, it's hard to tell. Yeah, there's a wee bit of activity. I don't know if it's a nuclear glass. It's a, I don't know what you call it, pale amber, gold. Sort of what, in between colour, eh? It's got a, an inch of thick, creamy, Moose like white foam. Let's get a wee sniff on it. Oh, it's tropical fruits and plantiness. I've no, I know nothing about this. I've not read the can. Actually, I'm not sure of the ABV. Five percent. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, my dears. Not bad. The first sip I got a hint of like an orange, orangey citrus. That that never developed. That's <laughs> like a smooth drinking, light to medium bodied, easy drinking. There's a wee bit, a slightest hint of a maltiness there, which I didn't expect. And I'm not getting these tropical fruits on the taste. It is quite it's citrusy, grapefruit. Maybe the slightest orange. And then you're getting quite a bit of bitterness. Piney, or maybe even pithy. Or zesty. Bitterness. But it's easy drinking, it's very refreshing. Maybe slightly too bitter for my parlour, but it is, a, it is a good beer. I could drink more than one. Let's have a look at the can. So, Moonwake Beer Company, IPA, ABV 5%. Yeah, Moonwake IPA is inspired by the West Coast IPA and brewed with hops grown around the Pacific. Pithy flavours of pine resin orange and grapefruit courtesy of Chinook, Mosaic and Southern Cross Hops all balanced with German malts and dextrin for a bittersweet finish with a hint of malty biscuits a timeless and classic idea now I hadn't read any of that but maybe I'm improving <laughs> I, sort of, I think I got most of that there there was that slight maltiness, which I didn't expect. That's why it, it was, it, I noticed it, it came to my attention. Uh, Chinook was eating Southern Cross. Southern Cross, you didn't see very often. Or I don't see very often. Where's my book? I can find it. My, the hops list. They're compiled by Julian Healy. Southern Cross. Let's have a wee look at that. Here we go. Southern Cross was created by New Zealand's Hort Research Breeding Programme as a cross between smooth cone and the result of a Californian and English fuggle. Released in 1994. Uh, Soft bitterness, lemon zest, pine needles. Yeah, I think that's... There's a lot. There's a lot there. I'm not going to read that out. But it's a... A very nice... 
beer. Lots of unusual, well, you didn't really get much maltiness in a pale ale, usually. And that pithiness and the, the, the citrus elements, the grapefruit and the orange. So I was right on the orange as well. It's a very nice beer. Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I try it again? Yes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.